So coming to India, we're going to take as an example the major river of our country, which is the Ganges. It supports so many lives. It's kind of India's identity in terms of its religion, in terms of the number of people living on it. Now I want you to take a guess. How many people do you think take bath in the Ganga every day? On a single day, how many people do you think have a bath there? Ritual, it is a ritualistic bath, right? When you have a bath in the Ganges, you're purified. So how many people do you think do this? 10,000? 20,000? 50,000? 1 lakh? 20 lakh, or in other words, 2 million people take a dip and a bath in the Ganga every single day. Now that's the level of human beings it supports. And 400 million, that's larger than the population of so many countries, are the number of people who live on the banks of this river. So that just gives you the sheer volume of the number of people who are using and some of them abusing this river. Now what's thrown into this river? Dead bodies, to idols, to sewage, that are every morning, look at the number, imagine the number of people who are going to defecate on these rivers, right? So every single thing, whether it's food waste or whatever it is, is going to get dumped into this river and there is some amount this river can, river can handle and not more than that. So in some parts, the Ganga is actually dead. It's declared dead because the water is just not suitable for any kind of aquatic life. The fish die, everything dies. So the Ganga has kind of gone beyond repair in certain places. And we knew about this, which is why in 1985, we declared or we began something called the Ganga Action Plan to try and save this river. But we realized that in some ways, too much damage had already been done. Now, there are ways in which we can make this even better. But the point here is that if you take a river like Ganga and notice where this all of this comes from, majority of the waste that comes into Ganga is because of sewage, again, just like it is for the rest of the country. And the fact that so many of us ritualistically have a bath in the Ganga, which